Hi Bulldogs, welcome to BHS TV, the Continue at Home edition. Here's your announcements today, Wednesday, February 24th, 2021. Last week, California's Department of Public Health released updated guidelines for youth sports. Under the revised guidelines, there's an increased likelihood of a condensed competition season if the Los Angeles County can move to the red tier by March 1st. Remaining purple tiered sports resume organized team activities this week. This includes swim, tennis, and golf. The goal is to resume all other programs in some capacity on March 1st, 2021, if case rates in Los Angeles County allow for it. There will be a meeting for student athletes and their households this Thursday at 6 p.m. and Dr. Crowther will be sharing a Zoom invitation with parents today. February marks Black History Month, a tribute to African-American men and women who have made significant contributions to America and the rest of the world in the fields of science, politics, law, sports, the arts, entertainment, and many other fields. Today, we take a closer look at the life of Langston Hughes. He was an African-American writer whose poems, columns, novels, and plays made him a leading figure in the Harlem Renaissance of the 1920s. Langston Hughes published his first poem in 1921. He attended Columbia University and was a leading light of the Harlem Renaissance. He published his first book in 1926 and went on to write countless works of poetry, prose, and plays. Langston Hughes is considered a great author because he spoke to, uh, for, and about uh, black people in America. Poet, novelist, and playwright, Langston Hughes was the leading voice of the Harlem Renaissance. America was changing during the time that Langston Hughes was so popular. Black consciousness was becoming more and more public, more prominent. I think that Langston Hughes was important because he was one of the early figures to show the dignity and the beauty of ordinary black life. He was one of the most visible of the younger black poets, uh, a new generation that described themselves as the new Negro. Uh, they covered new topics, took on new poetic forms, and sought a wider audience, and Langston Hughes was at the forefront of that. James Mercer Langston Hughes was born in Joplin, Missouri on February 1st, 1902. He wrote a lot about being lonely when he was young, and I think that was a tremendous part of the, the product of moving around so much. After graduating high school, Hughes published his first and most famous poem, The Negro Speaks of Rivers. It is the first poem that celebrates Africa and dignifies the image of Africa in American literature. The Negro Speaks of Rivers was published in a popular black journal, and so he was really rather widely read from the beginning. His poetry and his prose actually had access to everyday people. While studying at Columbia University, Hughes discovered the Harlem art scene, spending hours in jazz and blues clubs, weaving the rhythms of music into his work. Jazz and blues uh, were great influences on Langston Hughes. He sought to capture the energy and vitality of the music in his poetry. He was very familiar with the Harlem nightlife. He knew the musicians, and later in his life he would even collaborate with some of the key figures at that time, such as Duke Ellington. Hughes was a prolific writer and one of the first African-American authors who could support himself through his writing. Langston Hughes wrote plays. He edited anthologies of poets of African descent across the diaspora. He wrote short stories. One of his most famous uh, series of short stories centers around Jesse B. Simple. These are tales told by a resident of Harlem to an aspiring writer who's a stand-in for Langston Hughes. He was one of the more widely published of the young poets of the period. He was also among the better connected. He really worked hard to promote the careers of other young writers in Harlem and also throughout the rest of his life. That's also one of his big legacies. Langston Hughes died of cancer on May 22, 1967. His Harlem residence was given landmark status, a fitting tribute for a legendary writer. His influence, his ambition as a creative writer, his success, his accessibility. Uh, he wrote for the average person. He was not writing for college classrooms. He was not writing for the elite. 
All of those things, I think, require that we recognize and acknowledge him as a great American literary voice of the 20th century. In honor of Black History Month, Burbank High presents a celebration of Black history and Black futures every Wednesday during the month of, of February at 1 p.m. There will be discussion on history, reading, videos, current events, and more. Please see the flyer in your grade level Google Classroom for more information on how to join or email Adam Coleman at BurbankUSD.org. Teachers' office hours have changed for these five weeks, so please make sure you check in with your teachers for their specific office hours or go to the BHS website to see the schedule posted on the homepage for their updated office hours for Friday. Friday Zoom hangs are still happening. They hope to see you this Friday from 1.30 to 2.30 p.m. Please check in with your counselor if you have any questions. Seniors, your GPA has been submitted to Cal Grant in order to qualify to receive your award. Please check out your Cal Grant status on webgrantforstudents.org before the deadline. The last day to be Cal Grant verified is March 2nd, 2021. If you have any questions or issues, please email to the register to Ms. Dirudian. Attention all seniors. Order your cap and gown now. Graduation 2021 is quickly approaching, so check out moongradservices.com and order yours today. Information is on the BHS website and in your grade level Google Classroom. CSF, California Scholarship Federation membership. Please join the CSF Google Classroom to access and submit your application for spring 2021. The Google class code is all lowercase LPS FQTU. Applications are due this Friday, February 26th. The City of Burbank Parks and Rec Department and Burbank Fine Arts Federation presents the annual Youth Art Expo 2021 Space Out. The Youth Art Expo is an annual event open to all Burbank students' grades, TK through 12 with the goal to celebrate and recognize the artist talent of the Burbank youth. Students are eligible to submit one piece of art with a chance of being selected as a future artist. Selected artwork will be displayed in a virtual gallery, which will be a adjourned exhibit. Due to the current health and, and guide, safety guidelines, this year event will be virtual artwork can be submitted between February 16th to March 12th. Please see burbank.ca.gov website for more detail about submitting your artwork. The Children's Hospital Aid Club is hosting a virtual Easter themed Seize Candies fundraiser in benefit of the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Buy Seize Candy and Easter specialties and have chocolates delivered right to your door. Chocolates can be bought on their site, bit.ly forward slash CHA Easter, anytime from March 2nd to March 19th. Please make sure to help out for this great cause. Now it's time for your ASB update. Seniors, your senior hoodies and t-shirts are now on the school web store. Go and order them. T-shirts are $12 and sweatshirt shirts are $25. They will be available for purchase this Friday, February 26th. Once that date hits, then the orders will be placed. ASB is looking to kick off their Leukemia and Lymphoma Society school-wide fundraiser on March 1st. Their Hero Squad campaign will look a little different this year. It will be all online and will be done with grade level competitions. Each grade level will have their own Hero Squad giving page. They will also have videos and weekly challenges. So stay tuned for more about this amazing annual fundraiser. ASB is featuring a department of the month. This month, we are looking at the math department. Our teachers of the week are Ms. Guyon and Mr. Hamill. Ms. Guyon attended CSUN and Long Beach and majored in sociology and mathematics in education. She decided to start teaching because the teacher she had inspired her to want to become impactful to students in the way that she was impacted by her teachers. She enjoys sewing, painting, cross stitch, knitting, making jewelry, and making cards. 
A fun fact about her was that when she was in high school, she was in the marching band and played soccer. Mr. Hamill attended CSUN and majored in mathematics. He started teaching because he wanted to have students see math as beautiful, as well as help students learn critical thinking and perseverance. He enjoys running and a fun fact about him is that he can hyperextend his elbows, which some people call double jointed. ASB will continue to feature our staff and departments every month. So stay on the lookout for your favorite teachers next month. And that's it for your ASB update. Do you know any seniors who are visual artists and are planning to continue their art studies in college in the fall? If you do, please encourage them to apply for a Burbank Art Association scholarship. They will be awarding two monetary scholarships, the Arline Helm Scholarship of $500 and the Charlotte Jones Scholarship of $250 in memory of two past members. The Burbank Art Association has been encouraging creativity in the visual arts and serving in their communities since 1950 with monthly meetings, regular shows, and their annual art scholarship program. Applications and all, requir and all required documents like portfolios, letters of recommendation, artist statements, and letters of acceptance are due by Sunday, April 18th, and information about submission is on the Class of 2021 Google Classroom. Attention all seniors, it's your last chance to get your senior portrait in the yearbook for this year. You still have time to get your session book with White Studios and get your pictures in the yearbook. Please make an appointment ACP and call White Studios now. Attention all students, get your Burbank High yearbook. Please check out the web store on our BHS website to order your very own 2020 to 2021 yearbook or to the tab on our BHS website under activities and order yours now. Bulldogs, the yearbook class needs your pictures. If anyone has pictures that they would like to send and be featured in the 2021 yearbook, please send any of your pictures now to Burbank High yearbook at gmail.com. And please follow the yearbook staff at Burbank Yearbook on Instagram and BHS Yearbook 21 on Snapchat. Attention all seniors. There are countless scholarships now available to apply for. Please check out the Class of 2021 Google Classroom or the College and Career Center page on our BHS website for a complete list of the latest available scholarships to apply for. You don't want to miss out on free money for college. Okay, Bulldogs, that's it for today's BHS TV video announcements, the continued at home edition. On behalf of the cast and crew of BHS TV, thank you for watching. And always remember, even a pandemic, it's still great to be a bulldog.